All right, today I'm going to be introducing the G Focus. Okay, here's the battery pack. Six AA batteries, and it comes with a belt clip. All right, so you can hook it on your belt while you uh, power the controller. All right, push it in. Tighten it up. Okay. Okay. This is a regular um, audio cable. Uh, it's stereo. You can use a mono one if you want. Um, this is a short one. You can use a longer one if you want. Okay, this is the remote control, the power switch, off on, program button, auto, manual switch, miss auto, the LED will light up, and this is the position A and B switch where in the program mode you can set the focus uh, position and when it's uh, in automatic mode it moves the uh, servo to a desired location All right. a reverse switch where some lenses go the other way and this is the um, manual okay let me hook it up now. <clears throat> okay, this is the GT35 Pro Fall Focus. Some of you may already have this. Okay, what uh, I did was actually uh, the kit, the remote control kit comes with this bracket. This is the secondary bracket, a servo with uh, two gears. What I did was to remove the uh, focus uh, knob here and the indicator. I fixed the small gear here and uh, that's it. And I just clamped it uh, back on. Alright. So uh, basically. Uh, this also uses a um, audio cable, stereo audio cable. This has to be a stereo audio cable because there are three wires here. All right, and the other end goes to the control box. Okay, so basically, how does this work? Turn it on. Okay, if you are gonna do it manually, then okay, let me uh, get the cable out of the way. Okay, manually. Oh, sorry. Is it? Is it? It is a uh, auto mode. Okay. Uh, these are speed control for forward. Okay, um, I'm going to push it to full speed. Alright, so forward. When you're doing manual control, um, it's not necessary for you to uh, slow the speed down because it can get quite nasty. The movement will not be smooth. Let me just demonstrate. I slow it down. I will not be getting very good feedback if uh, it's really slow. You see, look at that. Look at that. That is not good. All right. 
so what I want to do is when I'm in manual mode I want to go at full speed all right so here's how I program it this is a, this is a two point uh, a B program oops let me just position this properly okay Right. Auto. See the light. Manual. No light. Manual is by using the uh, knob. Analog knob. Okay. Let's say uh, position A, position B. Okay. To program. Hold this button down until it flashes. Memorize position 1 or position A. Move to other focus point and set position B. See how the light goes off? When you go into uh, automatic mode, it comes on. And this will function as your A B position A position B. All right. Let me demonstrate that once again. Manual mode. Let me do a full range. You can see how um, it's about 220 degrees of rotation. Okay, uh, position A. Alright, position A. Set. Memorize. Position B. Set. It goes off. It sets and goes off. Alright, automatic mode. A, B. A, B. Yeah, yeah, this is like rack focusing where you want to do it quickly and uh, this is where this comes in really handy let me do it like slowly okay Let me demonstrate to you now the slowest it can really go. But I don't, I don't think anybody would want to use this. Okay. So let me set. Screw one has um, it controls the speed for a single direction and screw two is the opposite direction. Screw three it just controls the um, forward reverse. If I go the other way, um, there is there's no effect. It's not gonna uh, go reverse. For now, it's okay. Okay, now um, usable, usable speed. This would be a usable speed. You really need this if you're gonna use um, dolly, motorized dolly, or a crane, or a jeep arm. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching.